has a physical body. Why would God, why would God not have a physical body, a physical image, if we're made in an image and we got bodies? Okay, so where he went? Where God. he went? He said, he ain't going Daniel 7, verse 9. And I beheld the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did seek. The ancient of days, the man before days, is what is God? Keep going. God. Whose garment was white as snow. Now, for you to have a clothes here, you got to have a body. That's right. So he had a white garment. Keep going. And his hair on his head like the pure wool. His head on his hair was like pure wool, like okay. yours. So then, you yeah, what y'all need to figure out then? Where he went? His throne <laughs> was his I gotta go. Well, I'm saying, that what y'all need to figure out then. He held Where did he go? until the thrones were cast down. The ancients of days did see. Where did he's he go? He's sitting on his throne. Where? Come. Where? His throne in the third where? heaven. Where, son? Where? Where's he the third heaven? Dead. It's right there. I'm not talking about right there. I'm asking you. He you held know? to where? the throne. Where? Where is God? Where are we at? The where ancients of days did see. Where? 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 where are we at? Okay, you don't know. You don't know where we at, do you? Where we at? Can you point? Where we at? On the throne. What does the throne what represent? How are we coming back? Where we at? Are you asking I'm where asking, God is? I'm asking where, where we, we at. at. You saying God. That's me. Where we at? Where we at? Yeah, you are God. Give me some. Where are we at, though? You said throne. I don't see no throne out no, here. So where are we at? Where we coming back? It's 84. Where we coming back? What these names got to do with the throne that we sitting on? And where we don't got to, man, you go straight to hell. God! What, what's hell, bro? What's hell? A physical manifestation. Come on, you little. You little on when what you're you talking die, about. So that's why would hell. you push up on me that way? When people get murdered, that's hell. No, no, okay, if so you get affliction, what they got to do with hell. him sitting on throne and him coming back? How is he getting here? How is he going to deliver you? Okay, so, that, so I'm asking you, how is he getting here? He if, the kingdom got, if the kingdom coming, right, how does the kingdom come? What is he traveling in? The kingdom is within you. That's right. You confound it, right? That's right. You confound it. What is God coming back in? You are, what, what, what is the vehicle that God travels back to your planet in? What is the give vehicle? Me Isaiah 66 and, uh, I don't want to give me Isaiah. Give me Revelation 144. You got to go out the Bible. Give me Revelation 144. You got to go Isaiah 66. Okay. I don't got to go anywhere. Give me Revelation 144. Are you a virgin? Am I a virgin? <laughs> Absolutely. In what sense? Are you a virgin? And what's a man can't the be name. a virgin. Are you a, are, are you a virgin? A man can't be a so virgin. So why would the Bible use oh, you, the word? You, you ask where God is? I got you. I didn't ask. I'm God, a, I don't want to know. I'm asking well, for I you. You can figure that out on your own time. Where are you getting that? Are you a virgin? Where are you getting that? That's, not, that, that that's, 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 that's besides the point. Are you a virgin? It is the point. It's Revelation 144. Can you give me Revelation 144? Because if, if none of y'all sitting yeah, out here are virgins, then none of y'all are going home. Because Revelation 144 tells us who the 144,000 are. And you speaking on it God. Says one, that means you speaking on an extraterrestrial now, being it say, that's going to bring you into a higher it plane. Says are you one there? Third. Are you on that plane? It says one third. Revelation is 144 says the 144,000 will be these who will not that's get the They're the women. elect. And that's Come. the virgin. They're the okay. elect. So what's Revelation one four three say? They're the elect. What's of Revelation one four three say? It says the one third. Will then you're be not elected. elected. I don't elect you. You don't elect me, <laughs> boy. Bloody <laughs> you, you <laughs> Hey, you remember? You remember in the story when they would laugh at Jesus when he was talking? Oh, Keep that in mind. I don't elect either, either one of you standing out here. This is fraudulent. Who we never claimed any tribe names. We didn't give y'all no tribe names to claim. We asked you to get in You ain't give no We asked you to go home. Yeah, how but you can't. But you'll look at me and you'll scorn when I ask you, when you ask me, is my father a Negro? And I say, no, nah, I won't claim none of that. Because Here. if you're not a Negro, then you're not of the Southern Kingdom. Oh. Oh. Hey, Google Revelation Google 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. That's right. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. That's right. And the faith. Of your how it shot. If you don't got that, I don't matter. It don't matter if you elect me or not. That's how you get in the kingdom. That's right. Give me 22 and 14. That's, 22 right. and 12. That's how you get the kingdom. Bro, y'all not getting to no kingdom. You'll see. Y'all don't understand. Look, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got all these people. And you can't Bless tell me where day. God is. Bless the what? Bless all tell. day. Bless the that, what? Bless all day. That what? That do his commandments. No, bless the day that say, oh, you got to be a virgin. Fraudulent. What? I didn't say you gotta be a virgin. That do I said according to, your, according to you your book. According to your book. Blessed are they that so do you the commandments that they may have are you a to the tree it's of life. No, I'm actually are you a virgin. They may enter into the city, into the gates. Is Babylon a virgin? Are you a virgin? Into the gates, into the city. Is Babylon a virgin? Are you one? Is Babylon Are you the one standing in front of me? Babylon Are you? Yes. Okay, so you're not a part of the 144,000. Then why are you even talking to anybody about what they cannot get to? You're not 144. And now you confirm. So what is, what is, what is 144? 
I can't tell you I'm elected because you can't name yourself. You've been misled. That's right. And now you're being proud as hell. You've been misled. You've been misled. Because where is he? Where are we? Where are you? Where are the 144,000 going to? What is the vehicle that your God is coming back in? Isaiah 66 and 14. I don't want to give me Isaiah. Do you have an answer? Isaiah 66. That's, 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 that's right. That's right. You want that's him to right. come on his own understanding. Hey, so come back. Chop it up. Hey, bro. Y'all got a little bit more time. Do that. Chop it up. Hey, bro. Bro. Got got up. Isaiah 66 and verse 14. And ye see this. Ye heart shall rejoice. And your board and your bow shall flourish like earth. And the hand of the Lord shall be known for the church. Can any of y'all call my father right now? Can any of y'all? Can any of y'all tune the extraterrestrial beings here? Do, 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 do any of y'all have a tone right now? All right, well, then shut the fuck up. Don't tell me how to wear my clothes. Don't tell me how to wear my clothes. Don't tell me how to wear my clothes. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Oh, how's the Lord going to get here? The Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. You don't come in a chariot. Give me a please. What's the chariot? What's the chariot? What is the chariot? What is the chariot? You know, you know so damn okay. much. Tell what is the break chariot? It down. You break it down to yourself. What is the chariot? What is it? You're not in tune with the extraterrestrials? You're not in tune with them? What you think a little No, 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 no. You're not. I understand that. You're not. You're not in tune with them. So 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 who you waiting on to? Keep thy foot. Keep thy what? Keep thy foot. What? Keep thy what? Keep thy foot. Keep thy what? Keep thy foot. That means shut the hell up. When thou goest into the house of God, when we preach the word of God, and you come with foolishness, and you call my father right now, you need to shut the hell up. Keep going. And be ready for to hear. Can you call God? Be ready for ready to hear. coming down. You're not in tune with the aliens, brother. <laughs> no damn alien gonna save me, man. You need to get that. You need to stop watching too much damn sci-fi movies. God. If he, if he understood that the people that are out there in them ships is Negroes. God. They black men. When you look at all the people that went out of space and from NASA, they said when I saw an alien, but when I saw somebody hop off a ship, it was a tall, dark-skinned person. That's right. These are your top officials of NASA. I'm not worried about no damn gray alien. How can a, a, a three-foot gray alien save me from a white man with an AK? Y'all niggas need to get out of your... Y'all are full of yourself, man. Ed washed us from our sins in his own blood. See, his own blood. That's how I know I'll be elected. Or a candidate to be elected. That's right. Yeah, man, they don't know nothing about you. 
That deal with the Bible, get mad, I go in the Bible and answer it. That's right. That's an oxymoron. Come. If you're a damn atheist, just say you're an atheist. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> and the lame walk. And the leaper are clean. That's how the blind see, the, uh, the sick walk, and the leopards are clean through this word, man. Through Hamashiach. Keep going. And the deaf hear. And the deaf hear. That's who he's missing. He missing a Mashiach in Yahweh. He worried about a damn great alien coming down to save him. Instead of the Lord. Oh! So therefore he's deaf. He's still under the first veil. And the dead are rise up. That's how we're going to be risen up again. Because we go in Ezekiel. That's the, the valley of death. We in the valley of death. This goes into what I'm talking about. We in the wilderness. That's right. Right now. All you see is dead men walking everywhere you go because they got no light within them. Come! Come on, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And the poor got the gospel preached to them. That's why we out here in the ghetto. That's right! I'm not in no uh, suburb talking to like, the, the sweet white man and the Asian woman and the Indian women. I'm down here to these Negroes that are poor, sick and lame, and they ready to fight you. Oh, your old people are ready to fight you. That's a sad thing. All of Israel is not Israel. All Israel and Israel. Israel. Come on, bro. Uh, give me Isaiah uh, 33 and 6. Some of us are children of the Spirit. Some of us are children of the flesh. Because, hey, some of us accept it. Satan has a problem. Oh. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be stability. Of thy time. This wisdom, this book that he he rejected so bad, he didn't like the answers out of this book. This is our wisdom and knowledge. This is gonna make us stable within our minds in those times. God, so <laughs> Shall the wall. Alright, see you got your fringes, man. See you woke. Yeah. Brothers, what's going on there? Got you. Isaiah 33, verse 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. When you put in little gray aliens over the Lord, <laughs> you, you ain't got no treasure, man. God. Uh, 19 and seven, uh, 17. Uh, We're going to show you the wisdom of the Lord, man. The wisdom is the law, statutes, commandments of God. The thing, uh, yeah, uh, 1918. Uh, right. uh, I did. 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. That's how you convert your soul. He would get more understanding if he just kept the law. That's right. And it didn't look like he kept the law. Come. <laughs> he just looked a little crazy. <laughs> and he's talking about, are you a virgin? <laughs> I, didn't want to, I thought I would have cut him off. I would have cut him because I would have told him the truth. Yeah. But that still don't mean nothing. Yeah. All my brothers got to get the salvation. Come. When you go into the Bible, it says Abraham, Moses. 
they're going to get the uh, resurrection. But did they have wives? Oh. So now you cut. That's right. That's uh, right. Give me Isaiah 33 or whatever. And the testimony of the Lord is sure. That's the testimony of the Lord sure. I can go in the Bible and show you what's going on to this day. It's sure. That's right. Making the wise thus making the wise the simple. Making the simple wise, man. A lot of our people are simple as hell. Because they don't know the law. And they're getting destroyed because they're not listening and hearkening. If you would have listened, but he was mad because I was pulling scriptures out the Bible. Y'all need to get over that. When I pull a scripture out of the Bible you don't like, that's not good. You don't pick and poke at the Bible. Uh, You're supposed to get understanding. That's right, teacher. We out here to teach you and give you understanding. Y'all not gonna have that Christian spirit to come at, the Lord told me to tell you. No, the Lord told me to tell you to the law. That's right. Uh, and it's verse eight. And the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. And the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. That's how you get enlightenment. That's how you see the world different. You don't see that unless you keep the law. Come. And, and that's how you know other brothers that are in their right mind. You see, they got fringes on. That's right. They keep it due to, uh, they keep it numbers 15 and 38. Uh, Shalom, uh, give me, give me John 5 and 46. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 1. <coughs> Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou waste not spoil, and dealest treacherously, and they deal not uh, treacherously five, with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. You see that, man? That's talking about America. All these damn devils, they love spoiling people, shooting up mosques. It's going to come to a day where y'all are not shooting no more, and y'all going to be the ones spoiled. That's right. Y'all going to be the ones that go into slavery. Y'all going to be the ones that go what? Y'all going to be oppressed, man. Everything you did to us, Revelations 18 tells you, double unto her. That's right. Thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, thou shalt deal treacherously with thee. Number two. And, O oh Lord, Yahweh, be great. On that. Okay. See, we're going to deal treacherously with them. Because when you go into Psalms, it lets you know they had a what? They had a confederacy with us. Man. That's right. They had a confederacy against us. And they're going to be destroyed for it. We not, we, we not out here to play, play cake with y'all, man. The Lord gonna destroy the heathen, and if you don't get it right, he gonna destroy you. Uh, 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 Revelation 18 and uh, 5. Come, bring that out. Uh. John 5 and verse 46. And this is for everybody that go in the New Testament and talk about the law done away with. Come! Christ out of his mouth told you, if you don't believe in me, so lucky you don't believe in Moses, you don't even believe in me. Come. Keep going. John 5 verse 46. For if ye, for if ye believe Moses. He said if you believe Moses. What? Keep going. Ye would have believed me. You would have believed him. Because he's written in Deuteronomy. He's written in Exodus. You go in there, it literally tells you. But if you don't go in the Old Testament, you're going to get confounded. Keep That's going. right. For he wrote of me. Because he wrote of him. Why would you not believe in somebody that wrote of him before he came? That's right. He wrote of Shiloh in Genesis. He wrote of the angel that could forgive you of your transgressions in Exodus. And then in Deuteronomy, he wrote of him that would be like unto God. That's right. Keep going. But if he believe not his writings, if you don't believe in Moses' writings, what? How shall ye believe my words? How can you even believe Christ if you don't believe the Old Testament? That's right! Y'all need to get it right. Bring it out, out. Book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 5. Uh, give me 
Isaiah 33. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. God ain't forgive the, uh, forget the iniquities of white man, woman and child, of these other nations that sold us into slavery. He ain't forget. Bring it out. But y'all Negroes have. Oh, that, that was a long time ago. Why are you always getting on these white people? They're trying. No, the hell they not trying. God. Y'all Negroes get on my nerves with that, man. Always trimming your ways. This, the love the devil. Uh, hey, uh, give me Jeremiah uh, 2 and 33. Uh, keep going, uh. Isaiah, verse uh, chapter 33, verse 8. In the highways 